as you commit to your spiritual practice, you are sending a message to the universe that says, I'm serious about this. I really want to wake up. I really want to open to love. And therefore, the universe says, let's support this person. This person is sincere. Let's support this person. Now that support can come in various forms. It could come as gentle encouragement. It could come as total destruction. Because God has, takes different forms depending on what you need. So it might be the comforter who comes, or it might be this destroyer who comes. You know, in the Hindu trinity, the holiest of all of the gods is Shiva, the destroyer. Why is that? Hmm? Say it out louder. You have to destroy what's not good and then yeah. build it back up. Yeah. yeah. You need to die to rebirth. That's right. That process of dying and letting go of what we no longer need for our growth, what would hold us back if we were to hold on to it. And, you know, being human, we tend to try to hold on to our securities even when we don't need them anymore. And so sometimes God comes to us and says, no choice, let it go. Sometimes God comes to us and says, you have a choice. You can let it go, or you can suffer for another 10 years. And God says, namaste, and leaves us alone. But if he comes back 10 years later and we haven't done anything, chances are it's a different form of God that shows up. And this one says, no choice, let it go, right now. And this is a being who loves us. This is a being who hears our prayer, our prayer for awakening. 